Blessings, beautiful people of the world. Alex here. Now, the PNP, they seem to have no chill. That's the People's National Party in Jamaica. From my research, what I realized is that whenever time the Jamaica Labour Party is in power, the opposition, People's National Party, will stop at nothing to try to destabilize Jamaica both socially and economically and people really have to look into these things you see now there's another american citizen missing i've just got that information just now you can click the link up top if you need to see that video that will be up shortly you know these things are not random happenings all right these are not random happenings and we really have to look into the fact that our Prime Minister is trying to push the country forward but it seems to be a threat to the People's National Party and you older folks will understand because you guys are familiar with Lion Ed Flower which was sent into the country by Michael Manley and it killed a lot of persons you can do your research on that guys this is these are not persons to be played with these persons are communists you see, uh, the People's National Party is a communist party. And if you guys research communism, you will see that what I'm saying is actually true. These people will stop at nothing. It hasn't been the first and it will not be the last. Now, with these guns that were sent or that were seized rather. Now, why didn't they go to the persons that were actually receiving the gun? Why didn't they go to the recipient's home? to try to get more information or to arrest that person and it's not the first time this has happened when the Jamaica Labour Party has been in power I mean why would a party be in power and try to like get themselves out of power by doing all that nonsense we don't need glasses to see that this is uh, these are strategies in trying to overthrow our now government the Jamaica Labour Party now I have an excerpt from a document that follows it's a very interesting document it's not a full document that's in the video I'm gonna be leaving a link down below please click the link for the full document and while you're at it remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica leave a comment leave a thumbs up and click the notification icon so you never miss an update I am Alex pleasant watching as we see here people, the genesis of our downward economic spiral started in 1972 when Michael Manley came to power under the slogan Better Must Come. Prior to the charismatic Manley, Jamaica's economy was the envy of the Caribbean. In the year that multinational companies were flocking our shores to invest and folks from other Caribbean territories were coming here to seek opportunities. We were seen as the pearl of the Caribbean. And then them say PNP have a fix about Jamaica. The figures on the table testify to the economic glory days of the 1960s in the, and the nosedive in the 70s. Admittedly, the economic benefits of the 60s were not reflected fast enough in the pockets of and on the dinner tables of the majority of ordinary Jamaicans. The country was never, however, buried in a chronic state of what former Prime Minister Edward Siaga termed shortages, stoppages and outages. What are some of the consequences of Michael Manley and democratic socialism? The Bank of Jamaica had to print money for the country to survive after the treasury was drained. Number one. Number two, Michael Manley used most of the increased backside levy to finance free education, which was not free at all because the schools and parents had to cover the gap. Can you hear that? This left a little finance several other social make-work projects that were announced by government under the socialism is love explanation given to the people. Most of the schemes collapsed from lack of funds and people who wanted money, not work. Unemployment increased to a record 27% aided by the fallout of the make-work projects. When Jamaicans saw that was happening, they converted their money to US dollars through banks and the black market and moved their savings and other funds to US banks. See it? PNP them run with the people them from Jamaica. Soon, 
the Bank of Jamaica ran out of reserves in foreign exchange for the first time and had to use funds set aside for paying debt. The Bank of Jamaica could not supply the amount of foreign exchange to the banks which were under pressure for, by business clients and others and others to pay bills for goods ordered by companies and to meet other demands for foreign exchange. In addition, there was growing flight of capital. This resulted in a severe reduction of imports of raw material and spare parts, closing down of factories and increasing unemployment. Oil supplies were short, resulting in frequent blackouts and loss of factory time. Imported food items were so short that riots erupted at supermarkets when goods arrived. Small shops, 14,000 of them, either closed or kept one window open mostly to sell aerated water, fosca oats and toilet tissue. The dismal performance of the macro economy was the result of a deterioration over the previous eight years, 1972 to 1980, as revealed by the database published. The value of the total production of the economy gross domestic product, that's GDP, in 1980 was 17.5% less than in 1972 after decreasing every year but one. Inflation increased by 250% peaking at 49.4% in 1978. While revenue remained almost constant over the period, expenditure increased by 66%. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I spend more than what I make. The budget deficit is a consequent in consequence increased from 3.9% to 17.5%. One of it is not the highest of any country not at war oh it's if not okay so we are not at war and we, our, our, our budget is that is that high the total public debt as a percentage of gdp increased nearly 500 percent creating a crushing burden in debt service the level of investment collapsed by 40 percent of gdp and savings by 53 percent Foreign exchange reserves were wiped out, plunging from positive US $239 million to negative $549 million. Now, can you imagine that, guys? Wow. Economic, economic growth was negative in 7 of the 8 years and less than 1% in, in the 8th year. The Gleaner. And that's from the Gleaner, October 23, 2016. Who brought Jamaica and when? The answer is straightforward. Michael Manley and the Democratic Socialism. While Manley went to the mountain top with Fidel Castro, Jamaica was plunged almost to the bottom of the Caribbean Sea. Was Dr. Phillips referring to the turbulent 70s when he said only the PNP can save our country? That answer was implausible, except of course to those who were suffering with severe brain freeze. Could Phillips have been referring to the 1990s when the PNP turned Jamaica into an economic and social dust bowl after Edward Siagora, best prime minister since political independence, had brought back economic and social respectability to Jamaica between 1980 and 1989? Hurricane Gilbert in 1988 interrupted Jamaica's growth momentum. Its consequences created a political aperture for the return of a repentant manly who declared socialism dead in the early 1990s. We are still reaping the whirlwind for the PNP's return to power in 1989. So, peeps, let me pause right here. Why do you guys really want to vote or really protest that this wicked and cruel, evil party, which is the PNP, this evil set of people, they should be back in power? I think you guys aren't like researching, you guys do not know the history, and I think that's what is happening. Uh, you guys need to really read because these are the same people who are bringing Jamaica down to a, who are destabilizing who are destabilizing Jamaica socially and economically you understand these facts tell a sad story recall that these companies and this is an abbreviated list capsized while the PNP held office mutual life a company that operated locally for over a hundred years Goodyear Tire Company, West Indies Glass, Home Electrics, Workers Bank, Raymar's Furniture, Charlie's, Windsor House, Thermoplastics, Barrack Batteries, Century National Bank, Crown Eagle Insurance, Crown Eagle Insurance Commercial Bank, Island Life Insurance Company, American Life Insurance Company, Eagle Merchant Bank, Eco Trends, Time Store, Things Jamaican, which had its location to <coughs> PNP, and those are the 45, 45, I'm sorry guys. And those are the 45,000 small and medium-sized businesses that went under during the 1990s. Recall a front-page story in the Gleaner 
on Tuesday, February 9, 2002, which listed major money scandals that had occurred under the watch of PNP administrations. The root of these scandals is an amalgam of ineptitude and cruel waste of public resources. The consequences of health to chron chronically impoverish Jamaica and damage our credibility abroad. The scandals include, but are not limited to, Shell Waiver 1991, 29.5 million, approximately 5. Guys, I'm gonna leave this document, I'm gonna leave a link to this document below where you can actually see and get all the information, okay? Because there's really, really a lot of information here, guys, all right? So, thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to Hilly Jamaica for the latest information, the latest updates. Click the notification icon so you never miss a video.